Hello, today's devotional can be found in Doctrine and Covenants, section 18, verse 45. Wherefore, the blessings which I give unto you are above all things. Okay, so people throughout their lives get various blessings, both temporal and spiritual, and eternal. Temporal blessings include nice job, big house, lots of toys to play with, like electronics and all that other junk, and food to eat, things to do, money, all that. And people think that the world, that these things are more important than anything in the world, hence why hence why that Lots of people aren't yet married or having families. Because they think having a spouse and children will take away from being able to have all the material things that they want. I mean, not all the world thinks this, but a lot of people do. But here's the reality of it. When we die, we can't take the material things with us. The material things will fade and wreck and disappear over time. Time and trial. And we can't take any of it with us. The eternal blessings, however, include family, education, knowledge and Wisdom, which is knowledge applied. Memories, love. All that. And our testimonies. Those require a journey because it may take time for some to gain a testimony and all those other things. But they are important to growth and development. I mean, temporally, they may not seem very appealing to those who have not had them. But eternally, they bring growth and happiness. And to have an eternal family, an eternal knowledge, an eternal wisdom, I can't think of a better blessing for anyone. And I mean, it's possible to get an eternal family while you're still on the earth by taking the one you truly love to the temple and being sealed for time and all eternity. Hence, you create a kingdom. And you add to your kingdom by having children either naturally or through adoption and being sealed because it's very possible to do that as well. Because not everyone can have natural children but that doesn't mean they can't be parents. There are opportunities to give and receive blessings every single day of our lives. If we choose to recognize what opportunities that the Atonement of Jesus Christ is open to us. And we've got to have the right spirit with us. We've got to have the Spirit of God with us. We've got to pray for it and we've got to maintain it once we have it in order to be able to see and recognize the blessings and opportunities that the Atonement has opened unto us each and every day of our lives but it's our choice what we wish to do. Just know that the love of Jesus Christ and the love of God has given us more opportunity than we ever thought possible. And with that said, I love you all so very much, and I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.